Alongside Spider-Man, Venom is perhaps the most popular character from Sony's rather moderate Spider-Verse to date. While the first movie from 2018 was a huge success among fans and critics, reactions to Venom Let There Be Carnage were a little more mixed. Meanwhile, Morbius and Madame Web didn't really give the impression as if Sony knew what they were doing. So now, all hopes are pinned on the third and final part of the series, Venom The Last Dance. The film will be released in theaters this year, so it's high time we put together all the information about the cast, plot, and production, as well as the most exciting rumors, in this video. Tom Hardy is, of course, back in his role as reporter Eddie Brock. Brock came into contact with the alien symbiote Venom in Part 1, and since then, the two have been literally inseparable. Venom usually makes an appearance when the situation gets dicey, or when he's simply hungry for some human flesh. In addition to Hardy, two other actors have already been confirmed for the cast. Juno Temple, known for her role as Keeley Jones in the series Ted Lasso, will take on an important role. This marks her third appearance in a comic book adaptation after The Dark Knight Rises and Sin City 2. She would tell Eliafor, who we know from the Doctor Strange movies, in which he played Master Mordo, will likewise be joining the cast. His role in Venom 3 remains a secret. It is assumed, however, that he'll play a new character, as there have been no signs of a Doctor Strange Venom crossover so far. Returning to the cast is Michelle Williams, in her role as Anne Wei. Anne is Eddie's ex-girlfriend, and he makes no secret of the fact that he still has strong feelings for her. Fans who had hoped for a comeback of the two in the second movie were disappointed. She is now engaged to her new boyfriend, Dr. Dan Lewis, played by Reed Scott, who is also returning for part three. Whether Eddie and Anne will end up having a happy ending after all remains to be seen. Fans will also be pleased to see the iconic store owner, Mrs. Chen, back in the cast, played by Peggy Liu. Likewise confirmed for the cast is the young Canadian Clark Bacco. However, nothing is known about her role yet. Although no other cast members have been officially announced, there is speculation that Stephen Graham could return as Detective Mulligan. The reason for this, it was teased at the end of Venom 2 that the symbiote Toxin, which is closely tied to Mulligan's character in the comic book original, would return. There are also rumors that Tom Holland's Spider-Man could finally make an appearance in the third Venom film. According to rumors, the two movie series will be merged, which is not at all unlikely after Hardy's cameo appearance in Spider-Man No Way Home. Despite the lack of official details about the plot of Venom 3, there are already some promising clues. What is clear is that the plot will tie in with the mid-credits scene from No Way Home. In this scene, he was pulled into the MCU by a magic spell cast by Doctor Strange. There, he shares stories with a bartender in Mexico about the events of the Infinity Saga. Interestingly, Venom recognizes Peter Parker, which could indicate that the symbiote can access mutual memories. This is also reminiscent of the other Venom who encountered Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker in Spider-Man 3. After Doctor Strange undoes the spell, they are sent back to their own universe. This could be where the plot of Venom 3 picks up. The first set pictures suggest that the action will initially take place in Mexico on the Day of the Dead, a world-famous Mexican holiday. When it comes to Eddie's antagonist, one name is particularly talked about. Toxin is the strongest symbiote we know so far, superior to both Venom, Carnage, and Spider-Man. Here's some info on his role in the comics. If you want to avoid spoilers, we recommend skipping this section. In the comics, the symbiote Toxin is firmly bonded with police officer Patrick Mulligan. This connection transforms Mulligan into a powerful anti-hero, but Toxin brings with him not only his physical strength, but also a dark side. Mulligan is plagued by murderous impulses and urges that force him to leave his family and live in isolation. Despite these difficulties, a strange relationship develops between Mulligan and Toxin. Toxin unexpectedly shows compassion and makes a deal with Mulligan. The policeman retains most of his control in exchange for Toxin being allowed to take over completely for two hours. This agreement allows the two of them to resume Mulligan's former occupation as a policeman and hunt down criminals. Although Toxin is an immense burden for Mulligan, he is one of the few symbiotes who show consideration for their host and pay attention to the host's wishes. As a result, Toxin tends to be seen as a good symbiote. What makes Toxin so special is its superhuman strength. It can lift around 115 tons. Besides its physical strength, the symbiote gives him improved stamina, agility, and reflexes. Toxin can even spin webs and climb walls, similar to Spider-Man. Regardless of what the plot will ultimately revolve around in detail, it looks as though Venom The Last Dance will be the last solo film starring Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock. The recently announced title practically gives it away. It will be The Last Dance. Fans can therefore only hope that there will already be a Spider-Man Venom crossover in this movie. However, the reunion could also be carried out later and without Tom Hardy. After all, a piece of symbiote remained in the MCU after he returned to his universe in the No Way Home scene. It can now look for a new host. So, you wouldn't necessarily need Eddie Brock to make the crossover happen. However, we doubt that this would make the fans happy. 
we may have to get used to the idea that Venom will be played by a different actor in the future. Tom Hardy will certainly be hard to substitute. Can you think of a suitable actor? Feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments. Filming for Venom 3 has been in progress since June 26, 2023 in Los Mateos, Cartagena, Spain, as well as in Calblanque Regional Park. Further filming took place in London. Like so many productions, the whole project was paused temporarily due to the strikes in Hollywood. However, according to actress Juno Temple, filming is now almost complete. The movie is directed by Kelly Marcel, who already co-wrote the scripts for the two previous movies and is now directing for the first time in her career. Surely a bold move to rely on an inexperienced director for Venom 3. Nevertheless, she knows the franchise very well thanks to her work as a writer, and she also penned the screenplay for this film. She was supported by Tom Hardy, who had already co-written Venom 2. The Last Dance is set to be released in theaters on October 25, 2024. Unfortunately, there is no first trailer or teaser yet. However, Sony has another Marvel movie in the pipeline beforehand. Kraven the Hunter, yet another anti-hero who is a major antagonist of Spider-Man in the comics, We've already made a video about him, too, if you're interested in his story. There's also an open date of June 27, 2025, for the release of another SSU film. Sadly, no one knows what it's about. Projects such as a Sinister Six film or El Muerto are more or less in a state of production hell, albeit the latter has probably been in development again as of January 2024. The movie that fans are most eagerly looking forward to is Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland. Based on the latest news, filming is now set to begin in the fall of 2024, after Sony and Marvel have not really been able to reach an agreement on a story for the sequel. Sony is focusing primarily on a multiverse adventure of the No Way Home brand with lots of familiar characters. Marvel, in turn, would prefer something more down-to-earth that takes an in-depth look at the characters. Here, ideas for a story revolving around criminal power struggles in New York, Kingpin, and Daredevil have already made the rounds. Regardless of what it ends up being, most fans would certainly be thrilled to have Venom make another appearance. That were all the latest updates from Venom The Last Dance. It is perhaps the last big chance for Sony to convince audiences of its own Spider-Man universe. However, the future prospects look bleak. If Venom 3 is indeed the conclusion of the series, despite its potential success, what comes next? Aside from actual Spider-Man movies, there's not really a silver lining. And even here, Beyond the Spider-Verse also marks the end of a popular film series, and Tom Holland's Spider-Man will have to share Sony with Disney's MCU. What do you think? Will Sony really scale back its big ambitions when it comes to the Spider-Man universe? Or can we perhaps still expect some real surprises? What do you wish for the future of Spider-Man? Let us know in the comments, and give the video a like if you enjoyed our short summary.